Hello everybody, my name is Ross and welcome back to Never Song. So I decided to continue from the last episode where we left off, uh, close to where we left off actually. I got the mail, basically in the diary it's telling the, the name of the f the kid that's like uh, with, uh, with the skunkies sweets or whatever. And then he says basically that like skunky sweets are like hidden between three waterfalls. And the only three waterfalls that are like... Uh, and this game are here, and also I wanted to use the bomb to be fair to destroy this thing. And it's saying basically you need a bomb as well, but like I wanted to use this thing here to just destroy that. And I was thinking maybe something is there without actually reading the clue or anything, it's just like an instinct, I guess. But yeah, I'm just trying to jump up there and destroy that. I just need to land it, and then we should be able to progress. It's really, I really hate it that, like, until this, like I said, like, until this far, like, I had, like, a lot of fun with this game. Like, lots of fun. It was, like, really dope to play it, and it's really interesting. It still is. I just kind of, like, hate the fact that, like, make it, like, really finicky to progress in order to beat a game. Like, I understand that you want to make, like, a puzzle game and stuff, but. Still, you know, we I would like to enjoy the game without actually being forced to do all this shit, right? Let's see. And that's it. Sugar blasted. Ble blasters. Grab. Gross. Oh, they look like it stinks, so. I guess they've been sitting there for a while, so yeah. But hey, let's let's deliver this to the, that guy and then let's see. What is it gonna say to us and what maybe is gonna give us the umbrella to progress, maybe it's gonna give us another song. I'm not sure exactly how is this gonna play out. But I know it's progress and that's what I need. I think it was kinda dumb though, like the way and the order that you have to do it, like I just had to hit the machinery to just do a meow noise and then it's like it's probably like somewhere in the text when they say stuff to you, I'm pretty sure of it. Like it needs to make sense in a way or just like for you to be able to find clues. And I think that's how they give it to you. It's just like, I don't like it. Because if you don't pay attention to the text and... Like, I don't know, you just, you just play the game, then... You're not gonna get it. And in fact, that's gonna like, drag you down. Like, wait, why don't you read the text for us? Because I do read it, but sometimes I don't like, you know, just like memorize 10 pages of text. Or I just miss clues. Holy sugar blasters! Give me though. I swear, I feel ten <laughs> times more powerful. What? Okay, here's the secret switch. Give me so why do we need to turn the power? Okay. So this guy is having like a fucking thermal degenerator in his house or some shit. I think the Mr. Smile it's like in that picture over there in the background but whatever I right, let me see something I see here like can we just like break down the floor or something no it's having this weird like look at fake walls but I guess we cannot break them anyway Also, cool, I have no idea why I turned this on and what it's supposed to do how we supposed to help this guy oh okay Oh, the smoke was like making him sneeze. Okay. Wait, is that my song? Aren't you supposed to beat me before using my song? Why are you breaking a fucking fourth wall? Yeah, you look like a boss, but you look kind of sad. So, so I guess this is gonna be the umbrella item, huh? The last item probably that we're gonna need to do progress and the, maybe the other like, like last song is gonna be the end of the game. I'm, I don't know for sure. I know this game is like somewhere around like two, two hours long I think. I think it mostly why it took me longer than that to beat it because probably it did. It surely did. I, I It's like last episode I think I played for like 40 minutes. Uh, besides getting stuck on puzzles and stuff I think it's mostly... Um, just like do an extra exploration because I've been doing that as well. Like, I got some cards and some shit like that without realizing that hey, that's like actually extra exploration, you know. But I don't particularly mind it. The, the, the only reason that I would like want to 
beat this game, which is like finish it, would be to just be able to move like to another quality in the game, but that would be the only reason, because, and also my curiosity to really find out like what's the entire story at the end, like, I really did in a coma and stuff like that. I see those, like, I think those are like, oh yeah, no, I was thinking those are like blocks you can climb on, but no, I don't think so, like, house design, I guess. Okay, so let's go back and play the song. Let's save, I guess. Why not? We got a song. Okay, so let's check the song first. So this is going to be... A G F E D. A G F E D. A G F E D. Dope. And we're gonna get the umbrella. Booty umbrella. <laughs> An elegant popping style umbrella, popping style like uh, like Mary Poppin, but the thing that could carry you for miles and miles. Okay, sail. So now we have like a skateboard and also we have like an umbrella. Which, okay, I was pretty sure it's like double space. It's it's pretty good way of transportation for like a video game too, you know. I know obviously like from the beginning you kind of like can tell that like it's like a like a Dream State universe and stuff like that, you know. It's nothing like, uh, okay, we can just like, okay, cool. I know there is like one more of these that I can get, but I don't wanna. Not just because I don't enjoy this, I think they're like kind of cute. I just think mostly because they don't really help you with anything. I don't even know what, what that one was like doing to me. Okay, let me see. Actually, can I go on the, hope I don't break the game. But here I go. Here? Like, not the normal way, just like above it? I don't know. Let's see. It's gonna load and I'm gonna be in the underworld. The game is gonna be broke forever. Nope, it's still here. I like how you can hear the still, you can hear like a voice when that, they were in, like, in that area. It's like a voice keeps saying like Pete or some shit like that. So this one we got is like bosses cards, okay. Equipped to emit a feather trail, Tonky's mom wasn't there so Granny st stepped in, things went downhill from there. So maybe now we're gonna fight it, I don't know. Oh, we kind of leave like a tail of leaves, right? Yep, that's it. You can see it. Look, I don't mind like avoiding a boss fight. Okay, seems to be st still sad. Okay, so we have to fight this one. Do we have like a new song double or just like... Okay, we cannot use the skateboard here. Um, I don't know exactly how to fight this, okay. Okay, that works. So I take, oh, I take damage while in the air sitting next to it. Okay. So I'm gonna go, go back, I guess. Oh, we can take some hearts, obviously. Oh, shit. Don't just sit close to that, is the lesson, I guess. Kinda like getting, you know, on this... This creature. That did nothing to me. Okay, now it's just like spitting this. But those are giving me hearts, so in a way they're not really bad. Okay, where the fuck are those? Okay, I don't think I can uh, destroy this, so it's oh shit. It's most like ah shit. Most like trying to avoid them, I was trying to say, but like you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna enjoy this part. I guess. Okay, let's try not to die. I'm gonna do that too, and then I'm gonna go up and start hitting it. Until it's gonna like lead to its third phase. Which I don't know exactly where it is. What the fuck is that? Oh, she's coming out, I guess. So this is the third phase. 
give me the hearts. That's kind of like Grenia, I guess. So these people kind of like went insane and become like some type of monsters and they become like a type of boss. That's it. Okay, so it's doing this a little bit more complicated. It's not like a big deal, it's just like the umbrella thing, I need to like turn it on and off. That's why I don't like it particularly, but besides that, it's okay. Kind of full HP too. Not anymore, but I was full HP. Come on, Granny, just two more hits to go. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to hit her while she's doing this, because I don't want to like be too close to these things. So I'm hoping she's gonna start doing the uh, the other thing again, where I can go up and hit her. Yep, cool. Okay. This might be like sick, like last phase. Yeah. Okay, I didn't want to fight this sad creature, but okay. I don't care about that. I just want to be over with this. Had enough hearts so I can take a little bit of damage. So I think we gain an extra heart as well, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. Have we gained like a new song? Or something like that? I don't think so, right? Because we already got a song. And we got an umbrella. Okay, cool. So we killed Granny. Now we can do progress. I don't remember all the places where you can use the umbrella, but I remember particularly one because I did an annoying puzzle next to it. I don't, really, I don't know exactly if you can speak with him again, but it's fine. I know where to go, it's the important thing, and I know what to do. Like, I kind of like when games are like straightforward with what you need to do. I do like exploring and discovering myself in some type of games, but not in all of them. Like, where is kind of like, you know, it's kind of explained, I guess you could say. Like, for example, there are like RPGs or maybe RPGs or stuff like... RPGs mostly where like, they don't tell exactly what to do. You kind of learn as you go, but at least, you know, like, they have like a rationale where you can like... Um, for example, go to a smith and obviously he can teach you goldsmithing, for example. And, you know, that's kind of like obvious, you know, that's that, that type of discovery, I mean. It's like learning a cur curve into a game, like learning something about a game is just like discovering, but it's like kind of obviously when when they don't ask you to like or put you to make like stupid crazy thing that you won't think about it. No, that's so sad. Though. Like I don't know exactly what happened with the girl. Kind of like it just it just fell silent because the game became became like dark all of a sudden. Is that like a boss? I mean, obviously it's raining and stuff, but like all the time we just like kind of. Okay, so I guess this place hits me after all. It's kind of like representing. That's why it's looking like that. So basically, the things that you can see are kind of like. Like, how do you call it? Like, anyway, the entire world is made out of me, but the idea is like the, the heart monitor is like the heart monitor that's probably connected to me, and the ground is actually like you know, flash. See this, like, close to it? I guess that's like what's the prison. Okay, you can destroy those. I don't know why, or if it, is there any point to it, but I'm gonna destroy them. Oh, that is gonna give you a card, of course. Okay, fine by me, I guess I'll take it. It's just like randomly doing that anyway, so. Oh, we get Pete. Look, it's you, you look confused and wise, wise beyond your ears. Okay, so basically, yeah, that, that proves that Pete is connected currently. In, in my mind, it proves that Pete is connected currently to like a hard monitor. He could, because he's probably still in a coma, which is the entire concept of the game. So we kind of know the story now, but like, obviously we want to end the game. So yeah, I guess Mr. Smile is going to wait for us. Uh, should we destroy this as well? Let's try it. 
It's not going to take too long. If you want to skip ahead, you can skip ahead. Okay, nothing. But I guess Mr. Small is like waiting for us in that house. And he might be the final boss and we might have to sing a final song and then the game could end. Could be that, it could be wrong. But if I would beat the game in the next two episodes, I wouldn't mind it. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly why the house is like warping around me, but I'll take it. Fuck is that? A black portrait? Oh, and it's a portrait? Okay. There's more of them. I'm gonna bother clicking on E. Oh, it's, it's Puke Face. Simeon, I guess his name. Looks kind of sad. Uh, I guess maybe this is uh, these are the kids that like are collected or just like dead or in a coma or some shit. Maybe there was like a serial killer or something like it's based on that. Like this guy just like Doctor Smiley was like killing kids. Because the pl blank portraits maybe they're like the kids that are, like still trying to collect. Maybe you kill all of them. It's not like, um, it, do you know why I'm saying this? Just to make sure, like, people understand and it's clear on it. I'm saying this because, like, it's, like, there have been a few famous, like, you know, cases back in, like, um, oh, shit, look at that. Like, one, I don't know, 190, I guess, 1190, 1999. Um, what I'm trying to say, basically, like, back in the past, there's been, like, a few cases where, like, some murders, you know, just, wait, what? Portrait of Simeon, but old. That's interesting. It's been like so more like child murder, you would name it. I don't even know why I'm talking about it, like, but it's dark. But I figure that's like, like the thing that's like following, maybe. Okay. Wait, what? So they're all old. All the kids basically are old, and we see a lot of like dead kids. Like I guess that's my trauma. Like that's why I'm in a coma. Probably just like being captured by the same person, but maybe I escaped. Which is Doctor Smiley. I'm not sure if it's Doctor Smiley just like to this kid or just like you know it's like having a real name. It's like a real killer or some shit. To me, this is the vibe that's inspiring the game and like what he's trying to like get basically. This kid is a co in a coma because like his best friend died and probably other multiple kids or some shit like that and just like he got traumatized and he went into a coma to like escape this you know the reality <laughs> the reality yep escape the reality of it. Gross! Oh, what is that? I don't know. Gross. And we can collect it, so I don't know. Black fork. Okay, I guess this is a puzzle as well. Maybe like the adults like represent, you know, all the adults that went crazy when they found obviously their kid dead. Hello. Oh. Jesus Christ, so this the, was the kid that like was. Is that you? First you make me feel so old. I'm just glad I know it and I read Wind Book of Red. Oh, it won't have been a snake speed. The doctor smiled. He's been spending... No, he said he's spending time in the attic, right? Yep. Okay, cool. It's locked. Alright. It's locked from the end room. 303. So maybe something happened in that room? There's a kid there. Pete, is that you? Why are you so small? I'm a kid. Forty years later and you still look so young. Am I fucking been in a coma for like 40 years? Is that like what the game is trying to beat? Doc was right. I've lost it. Oh, this is my private million dollar training gym. Gambuesa Elite. Fitness. <laughs> Listen. I'm talking about me. And all my gold medals, 17 handsprings, flips, 
spins. Maybe Lord before the war, war maybe I don't know. Sweet here in the what would you say if I check? One eighty fifty. Good old fashioned rates from here to the here, right? But the rates get ready three, two, three. Okay. Oh, I guess it can be faster than him. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't expect that one. Like, I didn't expect him to power off with some <laughs> chair. So, these guys are everywhere now. This became a little bit harder. Just kind of need to, to move away from the swing, and that's it. I don't know whether those. What are those? Like, oh, they actually meat hooks. And they have meat on them, but I don't know exactly why you can interact with them. I need a key for this. Okay, we can save the game, which is good. So the guy had the key, but I don't know where he went. He just like power the fuck out out of here. Okay, so for the meat is the same interaction all the time, like ghosts. Okay. okay. So the only side ahead we haven't been is this one. Oh, he's still here. Maybe we can take that key from here? Do we really need to beat him in it? Melody may have left me after I broke my neck, but I did <coughs> just win that race. You bet. Melody may have left me after I broke my neck. Okay, so he's going again. He does have a key, but I'm, I'm not sure exactly what I need to do in order to get a key yet. So yeah. Okay. Okay, he turned away. Expect that. Okay, phone. Is that Ren? I think yes, she is. Let's see. Yep, she is. No. He's an incredible musician, but likes to spend most of her time outside exploring. Hope this game it's not based on somebody else shit, cause this, this is sad. Smile, serum, wanting boil, two nestle dips, one celluloid note. Okay, we need to collect those. Okie dokie. So we cannot progress through here. What if I hum? We may try to beat him. What if I just go first? Okay. So we could want that. I was thinking because of the of the shield that I could just like basically use the skateboard. Here, take this pharmacy. What it felt like to be young again. Thanks, mate. Okay, so I wanted the key. That's why I was trying to beat this guy. Oh, it, it's here. Okay, cool. So there's like another key that we need to find. I almost pressed eight to save the key for some reason. My brain was like, nope, not having any. Okay, this is becoming weirder and weirder. Watch out for Punky. Punky. Okay. That's me. So he uh, does leave his life in a shop. Cause like that though is like this his description of the card. Sorry about that, Pete. Headaches. Okay. What's that? Brain stuff. Okay. So I guess we need to make some stuff in the pharmacy or some shit, or like we need to find some shit. We do find a. So I guess this guy is like working in a like a drugstore. I guess like a drug addict. Drug addict. That's why. Don't know exactly what the references and stuff. I'm just like speculating because I literally don't know. 
Employees only, okay. Uh, I don't think I can go any... Can I go anywhere else? Actually, I could go, right? I could jump from here to there. But I, if I can make the jump properly. I could use the umbrella as well. Yep. Yikes. Oh, y you can grab those now. So maybe I need to use these things in order to like, make some type of stew? I don't know where I need to, to go with this. What if I give him to him? It's like he's part of his brain or some shit? Okay, maybe not. So I guess this is like some type of his, like, instruction. I don't know, man. Maybe it's like trying to like piece my brain together because I'm in a coma or some shit. Like this is going deep and I, I'm uh, confused to be fair man. I think maybe something like that but like yeah looks like uh, we're gonna stop here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this don't forget to leave a like and support and as always I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.